Hello everyone. As students start their first year of college, they have to remember a number of important things. Some of these are academic in nature and some of them are non-academic. In my previous video, I had discussed five important non-academic things. And so in this video, I'm going to focus on the academic things. Specifically, I'm going to discuss some of the biggest mistakes which students do in their first year on the academic front. So let's start. First of all, the biggest mistake that students make is not to realize the importance of their grades. And a big fault is actually from their seniors where sometimes they give some kind of misleading advice. Now, I really request all the students of the first year not to listen to this kind of an advice. Uh, I have been through the entire process, undergraduate process at an IIT, IIT Kharagpur here itself, and now I'm a faculty member. I've seen generations and generations of students, and I can say for a fact that grades are important. It's not just from the point of view of a professor, which I'm now that I'm saying this. It's also as an ex-student I'm saying this. The reason is that, see, if you want to go for higher studies or if you want to get into something really technical, like a proper genuine technical job, your grades are absolutely going to be important for your interviews, for your selection process. But suppose you want to go for something non-technical, like something like management. Uh, do realize that the selection process of the IIMs, they give a certain weightage to the percentage starting from your 10th, 12th, and even your undergraduate marks. So your marks are actually important. Now, I'm emphasizing this, uh, this year especially because in many of the institutes, the system of department change has been done away with. So what used to happen earlier was that because the department change system was in place, many of the students, because of um, their desire to do department change, they used to study quite a lot, quite hard in their first year. So the, we did not have to go out of our way to stress on the importance of grades to the first year students. But from this year, many of the institutes have, since they have done away with the department change system, uh, for example, we, we don't have this anymore here at IIT Kharagpur, uh, quite a few of the IITs also, of the other IITs also. So I have this serious apprehension that many of the students may be slacking off in their first year, starting from their first year itself. This should not happen. Please be absolutely guarded against this mistake. So your grades are important. I repeat this again. The next big mistake which students do and which I myself did in my first year was that uh, is that they try to learn the subject. Now you may f uh, find it's very surprising that a professor of an IIT is saying this thing that learning a subject is a mistake. So try to understand what I'm uh, what I'm trying to pinpoint here. Learning a subject is quite different from learning a course. And in the semester system that we follow here in the IITs, the NITs, and most of the engineering colleges, it is a course which is being taught, not the actual subject. So your duty, first of all, is to learn the course. Now you may, if you're a little bit idealistic in mind, you may think that these are dirty words, that first one, for the sake of knowledge, for proper understanding, one should try to understand the subject. But the irony is that if you do not perform well in the course, then your grades will be low, and if your grades are low, then the doors to many other opportunities for higher studies where you'll be actually be able to do the subject learning, those will be close to you. So it is absolutely incumbent upon you that you do the coursework properly first and only then think about learning the subject. As I, as I told you, there's a world of difference between learning a course and learning a subject. Learning a course means doing the things which are expected of you to maintain that discipline and to follow the judicious selection of the sequential topics which the professor after a lot of study himself after a lot of discussions with various things and uh, there is always a historicity between behind the selection of topics also the global standards are there uh, all that has been done for you the professor has already selected the subjects and they and they have they he's teaching them he or she is teaching them in a certain sequence follow that sequence. It is absolutely important that you do this. Okay, uh, if you try to do it on your own, then you have to follow the books. But then you see in a semester system, you barely have 100 days of uh, class. Actually 100 days, including Saturdays and Sundays also, it's less than that. 
uh, excluding the days where your examinations are held. So in this very little limited time, how can you go through all the books which are referred to you and mind you for each and every course there will be at least one textbook which will be given to you and in addition to that there will be two or three other references reference books how can you in this very limited time study through all those even a professor cannot do it how can you do it okay so first of all study the material as the teacher as the professor is teaching to you and then only go to the books use them as support for learning the actual course material which is provided by the professor all right so please do not make this mistake i tried to learn the subject in my first year and i fell flat on my face okay uh, so please do not make this mistake the next thing is regarding making notes now uh, when i say making notes please do not fall into the misconception that i'm asking you to just copy things from the blackboard in class or even worse which you should never do is to copy things from the book or maybe from the course material to make beautiful notes this is not what i am asking you rather making notes is certainly recording what the professor is writing on the board or maybe showing in his presentations but the real note making comes when the professor is actually giving you a nice insight or an exposition of some of the more difficult concepts so you have to record those things as he or she is presenting them in class it is my experience that when i write on the blackboard uh, i see many of the students they are taking notes but when i move away from the blackboard and i or chalkboard i discuss some things and i try to give a new insight uh, some kind of a proper exposition to some of the things which may not be actually there in the books uh, which I have garnered from my own experience of learning and teaching the subject for many years at that point only a handful of students they record that discussion most of the students are just sitting blank staring at my face this is a big mistake okay so please do not do this make it a habit or this is not actually a habit I mean that you you probably have developed in your school so it is something that you have to actually grow as a habit in your undergraduate days starting from your first year i did not have this thing so i'm i'm asking you to please develop this habit okay right from day one another important thing is um, in most of the problem solving oriented courses uh, you will definitely have to go through your problem sheets assignment sheets as you go through them you will in addition to the insights which are provided by the professor you will yourself develop some new insights some fresh lines of understanding so it is absolutely important that you record those things in your notes also so because those will be your own way of understanding the things and this own way of understanding things which will be part of your own notes this is something which will stand you in tremendously good stead right before the examinations and later on also um, maybe during some kind of comprehensive viva or maybe when you're preparing for some kind of interview these kinds of notes will be tremendously helpful in refreshing and jogging your memory at this point i would like to highlight something that many students they realize the importance of notes but somehow because of carelessness or maybe sometimes laziness they do not make their own notes rather they rely on the notes of others now not learning from notes at all is bad so relying on others notes may be a little bit better than that but it is certainly not good because the notes which you prepare yourself that is the connection that you have with what you what your mind is understanding with what the professor is teaching so this is a record of your own understanding as much it is a record of the professor's exposition so if you're borrowing someone else's notes that is his connection or his or her connection that is not your thing so you have to record the things as you have understood it as the insights that are unlocked in your brain are uh, that that needs to be recorded so please rely on your own notes now uh, if you have to do all of these things and mind you one more thing which i forgot to mention is that uh, please please keep a separate notebook for different subjects uh, i am not trying to be pedantic here or 
um, make, trying to make you into goody two shoes. But see, this is just a matter of logistics. You are don't try to be act too cool in your first year and make a single copy for all the subjects. It really is uh, a real pain to handle all the things from the same uh, notebook uh, later on. I have done this mistake also. So from personal experience, you take this. This really doesn't help. Okay, please don't try to act cool and just use one copy. Make separate notebooks for all the other for the for the different subjects. Uh, now you have to if you have to do all this that uh, that you have to follow up uh, follow through what the professor is explaining in class. If you have to make the notes, then it is automatically it automatically follows that you have to attend classes. So attendance is the next important thing which many students do not give importance to. It is a big, big mistake right from their first year. And this is also something which I did not realize, although I attended most of the classes, but I did not make it a, a, a hardcore effort to attend all the classes. So this is a very big mistake which many students make, just like I did. So you have to attend the classes. Now, even if you come back and don't go through the what you have written uh, although ideally should uh, but let's say that you are not going through on a regular basis what is being taught in class maybe you're falling behind a little bit but at least if you are attending the lectures and you are proactively engaging in class then it will automatically help in your preparation as i said in the semester system there is so very little time like every 45 days or so you have an examination probably even less than that so you have barely any time to study it's a breakneck speed. So there's a lot of time which is actually there in the classroom. Utilize that time. So this is one of the biggest advice I actually received from one of my seniors. He asked me to make the proper use of my time in class. So, uh, so please, please keep this in mind. The next thing which I would like to point out here is that all of these things that I have said, it is making a big assumption. Okay, it is making a big assumption that your professor is actually uh, teaching you in the way that the subject should be taught. The unfortunate truth is that sometimes the professors don't do that. Okay, it is not your fault, it is their fault. Okay, so what do you do in that case? Well, you have a lot of online resources, the kind of things which we did not have back in our day. I mean, we had the rudiments. Uh, of some online resources available but those are very far and f uh, few and far between but you have a lot of online resources available uh, especially those in the circuital branches and in the non-circuital branches also there are lots of things available uh, make the best use of them but try to remember that try i mean the moment you realize this and uh, and you can re only realize this if you go to class that the professor is not up to the mark then immediately try to find a proper online resource maybe from nptl uh, and once you find it stick to it okay don't go about flitting like a butterfly from one resource to another resource you will gather lots of resources you'll gather lots of links to various kinds of video recordings video lectures uh, lots of playlists you'll know about different kinds of professors but will end up knowing nothing from different resources so your duty will be to in this in such a scenario to select one particular resource and stick to it okay uh, but at the same time do not neglect what is being discussed in class even if the professor is not so good because it will give you a proper uh, record of what actually is being covered like the structure of the course at least you'll get that much and your duty is to just pinpointedly follow those particular topics that particular structure from the online resource and whenever you find that there are no online resources, well, you have to fall back on the books. The next thing is that despite all your best efforts, okay, it may sometimes happen that in the breakneck speed of a semester, and it can happen very well right from your first semester itself, that you are not able to do well. Maybe if the first class test goes, you do a given a fair uh, performance and then the mid semester happens and it is a disaster. It has happened to many people. Okay, even if it doesn't happen in all the subjects, maybe one or two subjects, uh, it happens. What do you do in that scenario? Well, the key words that which, which you have to keep in mind is damage control. Do not give up. Okay, I have seen many, many students, starting from my own friends, 
during my own undergraduate days i've seen many people just give up in the middle of the semester okay this has gone so bad there is no point giving any any putting any more effort into it so let's just be done with it somehow let the semester pass and from the next semester i'll i'll pull up my socks and do it again that next semester never comes so your duty is that if something goes wrong if something goes sideways then do some damage control don't let it go from bad to worse because if it goes like that maybe the second class test goes bad after the mid semester also and then it goes i mean spiraling into worse and worse scenarios it makes you sad you uh, and it makes you so very sad that it starts to affect the other subjects also in which you were doing relatively better so see it's a all round disaster so don't let that happen make do the damage control and realize that if something has gone wrong let it be self contained maybe that has gone wrong try to salvage as much as possible from that but don't i mean make a conscious decision in your mind that you will not let that thing affect the other subjects okay if the other subjects are going fair enough let them go fair enough try to improve on them okay so that the overall semester grade point average does not get affected too much the next thing is that uh, many students they uh, right from the first year they are a bundle of energy and they want to do project work i understand the enthusiasm okay you have heard so much about the research being that is being um, done in this great institutions you have got an opportunity finally after a lot of hard work uh, after passing the difficult entrance exams to to study in these institutes and you want and you want to make the best use of these resources uh, which are there in the institute right from the first year but the truth is that you are not really prepared to handle any project work right from the first semester right from the first year actually okay so so my suggestion is that focus purely on your curricular studies in the first year prepare well okay give a lot of emphasis on learning the subjects well especially your departmental related subjects and very importantly mathematics and programming in every Uh, institute there will be the first year math mathematics courses as well as the engineering courses focus on that do not think about project work in your first year let the first year be over once you go into the second year maybe even the third semester let it go, get over when you start doing the departmental subjects properly only then you are ready to take up some kind of project work you're not really ready but at least you have some idea of what kind of things goes on into in the various uh, in the in the various departments in your own department so that is be the that will be the right time to take up a project work maybe in your second year after the third semester is over if you're really interested in doing something extra learn pro programming well above well and above what you are being taught in class it will always always help you okay whether you wish to go for higher studies or some kind of technical jobs it will really really help you if you learn programming very well together with maths as i have already said so these are some of the biggest things which i wanted to uh, discuss with you some of the biggest mistakes which students make and i hope following this discussion you'll be able to not make these mistakes okay so all the very best as you start your academic journey this exciting academic journey so thank you very much and all the very best to all of you